Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I did in a couple videos ago mention that in addition to my Alex drawers and all of my storage here, I do have a single acrylic organizer right here with all of my go-to everyday favorites. And a couple of you actually expressed interest that you wanted to see what I keep on hand right next to me at all times. So I am going to somehow finagle the camera so you guys can see that. We're going to go through my go-to favorites and the things I keep on top of my vanity 24-7 for quick access. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So I am not gonna ramble, I promise. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so first in the top left area, I do have my brow products and my lip liners. Anastasia Brow is a medium brown, Kush Brow Gel from Milk in Dutch, and a clear Anastasia Brow Gel, as well as these two Sephora Collection lip liners in uh, The Nudist and Creme de Nude. Then next to that, I have, <laughs> let me just move that, I have these three Makeup Geek liners, a nude, a purple, and a black, just because they are my most go-to products. Then we have the new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I am loving it, great for oil control and hydration, nice and sticky. Then we have some MAC Fix Plus, which I have a baby one here because I really only use it to hydrate my shadows. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I've spoken about before. And of course, my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, my eye base for pretty much every eyeshadow look in the history of ever. Then I have my setting sprays. The first is the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Setting Spray. Then I have my dump spray, which as I've told you guys in the past, is a Lancome set it, forget it bottle that I just add all of my leftover sprays to. And then the Murad Hydration 3-in-1 Prebiotic Mist. That's gonna prep and prime as well as set. Then I have my Fenty Glosses in Fenty Glow and Fussy. I have my two favorite Jeffree Star lipsticks in Mannequin and Unicorn Blood. Then I have my plumping glosses. This one is from Dior on the left and Sephora Collection on the right. Next to that, I do have two lipsticks, one of which I was wearing in my boxy video recently. This is Nude Nouveau from Laura Mercier. And next to that, I have the Huda Beauty lipstick, which I have yet to try. It is in the shade Interview. And then I have my two favorite Stila glitters in Wanderlust and Diamond Dust. Wanderlust is a pink and gold duochrome, and the silver is Diamond Dust. And then I have these four lipsticks, one from Fenty, one from Charlotte Tilbury, one from Grande Cosmetics, and one from YSL, which I do love traveling with mini lipsticks, so I do keep my favorites right here. And then I have my primers, my top three. The top right corner is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Then I have the Tarte Clean Slate. Both are going to be blurring. And then this one right here is from Milk Makeup. It is the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer, which is oil-free and blurring. I do have two of these little drawers for foundation. This one is gonna be the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere. Flawless Lumiere, I'm in shade 1C1 and the Beauty Blender Bounce, I am in shade 3.15. Both of these are more of a hydrating natural finish. Then down here, I have my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear and my Maybelline Superstay, both of which are very full coverage. And I have my Dior Air Flash, which whenever anything is looking a little too matte and a little too lifeless, I will add a little bit of that on top and make it lifelike. So I just realized I skipped my concealer drawer. I'll go into that in a bit, but I have my favorite powders. Jeffree Star, Sweet Peach from Too Faced, Cody Airspun, Sephora Collection Micro Smooth, and my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. And then for sculpting, I have, first off, my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I'm going to struggle to open in front of you guys. But this is something I like to use to finesse if my blush isn't glowy enough, if my highlighter's a little dwarfed, I will use that to kind of fix it up. Then I have my Kat Von D Shade and Light, which you've seen me use a million times. I have this mini point perk size of the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which I love to keep on hand for nose contour. And then I have the two bronzers that I've been reaching for a lot lately, my Marc Jacobs, which is an all-time favorite, and the Fenty Beauty, which I'm finding a way to learn to love. While I struggle with the drawer, the four concealers in the drawer that I missed were my Tarte Shape Tape, my L'Oreal Infallible, the Fenty and the Elf Camo, and my Jeffree Star Concealer is in there as well. 
final drawer down here, I have my Laura Geller Baked Blush in Tropic Hues and my Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio in the Medium Tan, both of which came in BoxyCharms and I am in love with. And the third is my Blush Book from Tarte. Four shades of blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. It is a great one and done for really when I want to just finesse my blush tone. Okay, so this is where it lives to the left of my vanity, and all of my excess brushes are right next to my organizer. Then we move to my ring light, and on the other side, I keep a lip brush on hand, just because when I am trying a lipstick, if I don't like it, I want to be able to give it away. So I try to use a lipstick wand or a lip brush. Then I do have this little bottle of Cinema Secrets, so I can clean my brushes in a pinch. I do have one cup here of my dirty favorite brushes, this is where, once I use a brush, I put it in there. The right cup is where I keep all of my clean favorite brushes. So I will use one from the right cup, and then it goes in the left cup. It's a system I keep in place, so I'm not mistaking which brush is clean, which one is dirty, which one needs to be gross, and whatnot. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this insightful into what I'm constantly reaching for in my everyday favorites over here, as well as kind of how I organize my vanity setup just so that I know what's here. I will be doing a little more in-depth review of my entire setup, not review, it's not a review because it's mine and I like it. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more of like an in-depth overview on my full storage collection, everything I have, why I have it where I have it, but this is just a general overview of what the surface of my vanity looks like and why I keep things here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!